instruments more or less exclusively for at least eight years and um, this is the newest creation from Tom um, it's a beautiful bass and I'm proud to have been a part of the process of creating it it's sort of our joint design together it's uh, sort of a retro design it's uh, borrowing lines from the Thunderbird and it's got Tom's classic cutaway at the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> this particular instrument is uh, finished by uh, Pat Wilkins of the Wilkins Custom Guitars. It's a beautiful transparent white. The model will be known as the Angel, so I have nicknamed my uh, bass for the Snow Angel since it's white. Um, featuring two fat stack North Strand pickups it's a hip shot um, hardware and a wonderful Audair preamp, the Pro Z version with a three um, level C knob right here. Um, we're trying to recreate something retro with this bass. As you can see, it's a pick guard here, um, which is the first bass I think from Tom that actually features a, a non wooden pick guard. It's uh, also featuring uh, lollipop tuners to enhance the, uh, the retro image and of course there is as much chrome as possible on this thing. It's a beautiful beautiful bass and it's a very very wonderful instrument to play. Um, Tom's neck profile is the most comfortable neck profile I've ever played and I should know I have four of his six string basses. It's got a very very slim and tapered uh, neck profile. Um, I've never seen any basses from Tom that doesn't feature a very thick and solid fingerboard. This one has an ebony fingerboard. Uh, the neck is a one-piece maple neck. The wood used here is a beautiful one-piece swamp ash body. So it's solid all the way. No glue in between anywhere. Um, the Odair preamp is very, very uh, flexible. You can dial in more or less anything on this uh, on this preamp. It's uh, got the ordinary uh, balance and volume stacked. And then it's a two-band mid uh, control, so boost and sweep on both, and then uh, bass and treble. So you can go anywhere from. Uh, service at Odair is also 
superb. Um, the C knob uh, does something magical to your sound. I can't really explain what it is, but it's. Uh, Just uh, go through the different settings. I just uh, use the preamp flat right now and uh, the bridge pickup. Blend the pickups 50-50. And then just the bridge pickup. Add a little bass and draw down a little on the upper frequencies, you get a quite good representation of a P pickup sound. And likewise, if you go all the way to the bridge pickup and uh, add a little bass. Unfortunately, that was never to be. Uh, Chuck left us in February this year, and um, uh, we all mourned the loss of our friend. Uh, personally, I didn't meet Chuck in person, but I had uh, many conversations with him online, and uh, he was a great person to to know. And he had a big, huge heart for Tom's basses, and he uh, <clears throat> really wanted a fretless version of this bass, the Angel. Um, he was involved in Tom's uh, project for, uh, with the charity basis that he built for the uh, Ronald McDonald's house and uh, he used two of Tom's bases and he uh, collected autographs on them and they were auctioned away and uh, one of those bases collected the highest single or raised the most money that one object has ever done in the history of these auctions. So uh, a very fine effort uh, from Tom and Chuck there. And um, after uh, playing those two charity basses for one year each, uh, he commissioned a new bass from Tom that he got delivered of, uh, quite a while before he passed away. Uh, his bass also featured this uh, uh, Odair preamp, and that's why I use mine as well, as it had uh, uh, Chuck's stamp of approval on it. On his personal bass, Chuck also added um, this emblem on the top horn and I decided that I wanted to put this emblem on my bass too as a memory of Chuck and a little tribute to Chuck so he's always there when I play this bass. Um, this t-shirt is from uh, the memorial concert that his friends held for him and uh, thanks Chuck for being uh, who you were and what you meant for Tom's basses. And, uh, Chuck's quote when he saw the design for this bass was that, cool, I'd definitely rock that one, and I'm sure he would have if he had been here now. So thanks, Chuck. So, um, I'm proud to present the new Tom Clement Angel bass. Uh, I think you should uh, consider getting one. Um, it's a big bass. Uh, the shape is really big. Um, so it's a little hard finding a gig bag that fits. Personally, I ordered one, custom built or custom sewn from uh, Pro Bag. It's a great leather bag, and uh, Pro Bag does have this template, so they can actually uh, make the same bag for you as well if you decide to go for the Angel base. So Pro Bag is available on Facebook and uh, other places. So. It's a solid and very, very well padded gig bag. So yeah, that's it. This is the new Tom Clement Angel Bass and um, get one.
you won't regret it. Bye. That's what I... Mm -hmm.